Ladies and gentlemen, you are all really good improvisers. And I know that that can be a scary idea. Because when I talk with people, and I have this conversation quite often, and I ask them about improvising, they usually think of jazz soloing or whose line is it anyways, and they say, I can never do that. That takes so much skill, you have to be smart, you have to be on it. And it's true, that's correct, but they're really actually talking about the form of jazz music or theater sports. They're not actually talking about improvisation. And so we say, okay, well, what did these guys do to get good? Well, they've practiced, they've learned the rules, they have a reason why they're doing it. So I say, okay, well, let's, let's use an example, jazz music. The rules for jazz improvisation would be, what key is it in? What's the tempo? What's the melody that we're improvising around? And then the purpose could be, I am looking at um, expressing my inner feelings uh, through this music, through this uh, instrument. And say, so, okay, all right. So let's take that back to us. How is that useful? How, is that, how can that serve us? Well, we're improvising all the time. Um, if you're driving to and from work, even if you're doing the same way every time, you still have to deal with unknowns like detours and weather and that jackass that cut you off, or maybe you're the jackass, I don't know. But you're always dealing with stuff. And my favorite example is the conversation. So what are the rules? The rules are there's an open, uh, an introduction. Zach, I haven't seen you in years. Oh my goodness, how are you doing? And then there's an exchange of content, and then eventually there'll be a close. Well, hey, I've got to wrap up this conversation. I've got to get off stage. So, uh, and then there'll be a purpose. There is, I, have, uh, I want to connect with you, or I want to curry favor with you, or whatnot. So, and if you are dealing with a child, you are always improvising. You are always figuring things out. So I think we can agree that we are improvising. We are making up things on the spot. Uh, so how do we get better at it? And we get better at it by acknowledging that there are rules. There are rules that we come up with and that, uh, that we can play with those rules. We can actually change the rules if we, if we feel like it. Um, the second thing that we can do to get better is to recognize that we're all actually playing by a different set of rules. And each person's rules are actually personal. And if you get to Mark's bubbles of, of people, if you have an engineering group and a lawyer group, they're going to have very different sets of rules for their conversation and whatnot. Uh, and of course, geographically, if you, the further you get geographically, there could be some different rules. But lastly uh, is purpose. If you have a clear purpose about this game that we're playing, this conversation, you know what you want to get across, that's going to help you navigate through your improvisation. So I put it to you uh, in 180 seconds. Uh, we are good life improvisers. Why not become amazing? Know the rules, change them up. Don't get so mad when other people break the rules because you're probably breaking someone else's and have a clear purpose. That's it.